when I went in trailing last summer with the girls, we initially had Budapest on our itinerary. It unfortunately got bumped off by lack of time. So getting to experience the city was a top priority for me during my semester abroad. Exploring it with a group of seven was just a plus. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> Limitless. We started off the trip strong after landing at night by going straight to Simple Kurt, this famous ruins bar where the guys got beers. Didn't like that. In the morning, we got breakfast at Cafe Dorado. Most of the group tried this French toast type dish with banana and bacon on top. Honestly, you cannot pay me to eat grilled banana, but everyone else seemed to enjoy it. I got avocado toast because you can never go wrong with that. Hi. The girls and I then pit stopped at Humana. This is compulsory at this point. I think Sadie and I have been in all the Humanas of Europe together. They were having a sale on this day, so everything was 400 Hungarian dollars, which is basically one euro, so we kind of went crazy here. <laughs> Being on the go a lot messes with my body so much. I'm sure many of you can relate. Like the travel stomach aches are so real. I've been drinking Bloom's green powder in my water pretty much daily lately to help with that and to ease my tummy. Bloom is packed with greens, probiotics, antioxidants, and fiber, and it's just the perfect daily gut health supplement. Plus it is so tasty and they have these small packets which are great for traveling. Drinking this always gives me a boost in energy and aids my digestion. So yeah, thanks to Bloom for sponsoring this video and check them out in my description. Afterwards, the sightseeing begun. We started at the Den Store Synagogue where we admired its grandiosity and beauty from outside. Before exploring the Basilica. The dome on this thing was insane and the fresques mesmerizing. These churches always blow my mind and I love to sit in silence in them and take a moment to myself. I've said it before, but churches remind me so much of my grandmother. She always pops into my mind when I enter one. So it's a special place for me for that reason. <laughs> It's no secret traveling is exhausting, so we got some coffees and matchas midday to fuel up. This was our girls moment while the boys went for a beer. I don't know how anyone could have a beer in the middle of the day and not pass out directly afterwards, but all the more power to them. <laughs> thrift shops and I found this leather jacket that was awesome. In the afternoon, Sarah and I walked to Baj for pastries. They had the most incredible selection of goodies. I got this pesto cheese bun and it was so buttery and flaky. We ate in this nearby square and enjoyed the little bit of sun on a bench. I was extremely tired this day, apparently, because I found myself with yet another coffee on my tab. Sarah got wine, we sipped our drinks outside as we read, chatted, and people watched. Probably my favorite activity abroad is observing people. Sorry if it's creepy, but that's the truth. It's so entertaining and interesting to catch a mini glimpse into the lives of strangers. Dinner took place at 26, where we began the night with some drinks, just us girls. Very sophisticated with the ceiling so high in the sky. The truffle pasta was great. Cool. 
Sadie and I went back to the same place for breakfast the following morning because their matcha slapped. We share in our love, no, veneration of matcha, which is a blessing because Sadie always joins me in getting my fix. No questions asked. We started out our day peeking inside New York City Cafe, which is the most gorgeous building before heading to brunch. I rarely regret my order whenever I eat out, but I should have gotten the French toast here. It was so good. Sarah and I hiked through Jubilumi Park to the Citadella Sitani, all the way to the Fisherman's Bastion. I think we walked at least 30k steps this day, making our way up and down hills and through the most gorgeous trails. The views that we were privy to on this mini hike were extraordinary. It really emphasized the difference between Buddha and Pesht, Buddha being this side, the nature side, and Pesht being the other, more city side. I had been traveling a lot at this point and this escape into nature was so therapeutic. <laughs> After walking for what felt like hours and for what was hours, we stopped at the sweet cafe for some matcha and food. One thing about me is that the food I don't like, I really don't like. Yogurt is probably my number one food ick, like just the thought of it makes me squirm. Yet I ordered their matcha chia pudding knowing full well that it was topped in yogurt. Man, was it hard to get through. I should have gotten the cookie. Then we met up with everyone for a drink with a view. I got a cappuccino, which is definitely not allowed at this time of the day, but I needed energy. Wheeling to the recycle. <laughs> Let's hope we make it on the fast walking. Mode. Limitless, no, unlimited Prosecco boat tour. And then we're gonna see everything lit up on the water. And we're gonna be lit as well. I've never speed walked this fast. No, me neither. This is like very stressful because if we miss it, no Prosecco tonight. Last night in Budapest, gonna be fun. See you on the boat. Like the weekend on the boat. We ended our trip with the infamous unlimited Prosecco boat tour, which was the most fun night. If you're ever in Budapest, this is a must. Come shopping, come shopping, hello. Yeah, you're Watch out for the car. Okay, ready? <laughs> 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 Next, we head to Sorrento, the most gorgeous place on earth, so stay tuned.